Welcome back guys to another NEO video. I got some pretty big news about the company and why I should definitely buy in. I also will be talking about my price target for NEO at the end of this month, which is December, and what I think NEO, the price tag will be like in the next couple of months. So at this current moment, NEO is hovering at $51, $52, okay? After being down roughly six to 7% yesterday, pre-market today is almost 3%. And that's because of some good incoming news. Now, before we dive any deeper into this EV stock, definitely check out the free Discord server, link in the description below. It's completely free with more than 20,000 members. It's one of the most active and one of the biggest stock option Discord servers on the Discord platform. So if you guys have not joined in, you're missing out on a ton of fun and a lot of money. And it's completely free, so you don't have to spend a single dime. And definitely check out the Patreon link below. We also got some pretty cool perks. So at this current moment, NEO, it's doing pretty well, especially after completely not having any news, after getting a lot of crazy stuff in the market, it actually has stayed pretty flat. It almost feels like NEO has finally consolidated at the $50 billion market cap value, and it doesn't like to go below $50. You can clearly see $50 is a really big resistance point, and it's spiked down below 50 and shares were automatically gobbled up all the way up to 50 to 51, 52, et cetera. So the reason why NEO, in my opinion, is getting some good news is always look at the numbers. If the numbers are crap, then the company is crap. But NEO is impressing us with some of the best numbers. Remember October, NEO delivered 5,055 vehicles? It was like a big record. It was like double the amount from 2019. And this time, NEO said it delivered a record of 5,291 vehicles in November, which is 109.3% from a year ago. So this is like the third month in a row where NEO reported triple digit percentages growth compared to 2019. On top of that, 5,291 vehicles in November is like a couple hundred vehicles more than last month, October. This is pretty incredible. And what's even more awesome is the EC6 has actually increased sales. When the EC6 first came out in October, only a few hundred people wanted it. Now it's sold 1,500 of these vehicles. Even with the Model Y production scheduled to come out on January 2021, people actually opt in to buy the Neo crossover over the anticipated upcoming Model Y, which is pretty impressive. And keep in mind, one big thing that Neo has Keep in mind, one big advantage that NEO has over Tesla, in my opinion, is they mostly build much bigger vehicles like the ES8 and the ES6. A lot of people in Asia actually love these massive SUVs, but a lot of American car makers and German car makers don't make enormous electric SUVs just yet. So NEO actually dominates in this market. On top of that, they kind of pride themselves as a very luxurious brand. And they're also thinking about European expansion in 2021. And the sales are incredible. And once again, if you're always skeptical about NEO and what they're doing, keep in mind if their sales are good, if their numbers are good, the stock will go up. And this is why a lot of people, even when NEO dropped below $50, it was at negative 10%, so many people all at once bought shares and the stock shot up. And on top of that, you do have NEO doing really well in the car selling business. They also have battery as a service, which is a feature not even Tesla has. Essentially speaking, they came out with the brand new 100 kilowatt hour battery in their NEO battery events. And now if you guys have an older NEO vehicle, and let's say it's a 70 kilowatt hour battery, instead of buying a whole new car, you could swap out the old battery for this brand new one, and voila. Your car just went from an old 70 kilowatt hour battery to a 100 kilowatt hour battery that goes up to 370 miles per charge. Absolutely incredible. They also have this battery subscription program. So if you say NEO simply is just a car manufacturer, if you think NEO is a big bubble because they don't sell enough vehicles, well, it's just like the Tesla case. The reason why Tesla's worth so much is because they have an autopilot branch, a battery branch, and this is why they're worth like more than half a trillion dollars right now. Same thing with NEO. They got a battery branch. They got their own autopilot branch. Got some even bigger news, especially how NEO's fourth annual NEO day will be coming January 2021 and expect some pretty big stuff. One of the biggest things that investors should definitely take note of is NEO will definitely be unveiling their brand new sedan. With sedan sales skyrocketing in China, with so many people buying the Model S and the Model 3, NEO just has to go in. 
Remember, Tesla even somewhat acknowledges that Neo is a rival. Even Elon Musk threw some dirt and shade at Neo. There's some friendly competition, a friendly little beef, and Neo also threw some, you know, dirt on Tesla a little bit as well. So you got this little friendly competition going on. So it's actually pretty dope and it's pretty fun to see these two massive electric car companies going head to head. And Neo will be unveiling their electric sedan. And keep in mind, the CEO has also said this sedan will be announced in January 2021, along with the EP2, which is their platform. And they're also making a second electric sedan, which we don't really have any news besides the CEO saying that they will be announcing one sedan in January and a second sedan that's under production. The first sedan could be a luxury sedan. That's going to be maybe sixty dollars to $70,000 USD, and that will go against the Model S. And then Neo will come out with a cheaper sedan, which will compete against the Model 3. This is a pretty genius idea. On top of that, you do have Tesla's autopilot. This is a pretty big deal because the reason why Tesla's worth so much is because of the autopilot program. Well, on Neo Day in January 2021, it's expected that Neo will be coming out with another brand new autopilot system and will give it to users by a software update most likely. And the crazy thing about this is Everyone keeps praising how Tesla's autopilot is extremely good, right? This is why their vehicles are worth so much because you got robo taxis, ride hail, all these things make Tesla have a potential market cap of a trillion dollars, according to Kathy Wood from ARK Invest, which is one of my favorite fund managers out there. And Neo's doing the same thing. Neo's work of Intel and Qualcomm for a robo taxi network. In October 2020, they already came out saying that they do offer some sort of an autonomous driving, hands-free in highways in some cities in China. And highways, they, they're doing fine, all right? But this new autonomous driving software that Neo will be sending out in January 2021 will probably be hands-free driving in big metropolitan cities. And Neo vehicles could definitely recognize people, traffic lights, stop signs, etc. So we could be seeing some sort of a massive software update for Neo vehicles. And guess what? If they get a massive software update, the chances of them opening up their first robo-taxi network in China will most likely happen. Keep in mind that the Chinese government really likes high-tech stuff. If you come out with something super high-tech, generally speaking, their regulatory approval is a lot more easier to go through than here in the US where there's multiple things you gotta consider. In China, they are really pushing for the techiest tech so if Neo literally comes out of a ride hail software and like robo taxis before Tesla, stock price will absolutely go up. I mean, the work of Intel, the work of Qualcomm, robo taxis, and also fully autonomous vehicles is on Neo's wish list every single Christmas. And so far, I feel like Neo is definitely one of the few stocks out there that is pretty similar to Tesla. I think the market cap for Neo could definitely hit $100 billion. I wouldn't even be surprised if Neo hits $100 after Neo Day because of the brand new sedan another rumored budget-friendly electric sedan, and also autopilot, especially the autopilot part is really interesting. And Neo CEO has also teased a 150 kilowatt hour battery in the exclusive Neo Club, which is for owners. That's about it guys, thanks for watching. Lots of big news on Neo. Definitely keep all of you guys updated. If you guys think this is too expensive, think again. It did drop from $55, $56, so definitely grab this juicy dip. And happy holidays.